Cable customers in Springfield are sounding the alarm tonight. They've had text messages threatening to cut off their service. Turns out they didn't need to fork over more money to keep the service on. But as Adam Woodbray found out, those messages may have come from an actual employee. When we put it in the Facebook group and all these people started commenting, I've had something similar. Zach Kirk is a Mediacom customer. Earlier this month, he got a text from a private number. The person claimed to be a Mediacom technician. He said Kirk was on a list to have his service disconnected because of an overdue payment. He had options, including pay the technician directly. And I responded going, you know, hey, who's this kind of thing? Like, I don't really understand, like, why you're contacting me directly from a private number. First, Kirk ignored the texts. He's getting ag aggressive via text, you know, saying, I'm going to come disconnect your line if you don't show me proof. I don't know who this individual is. So I go and I tell him, you can come by to Disconnector Services. He goes, okay, I will see you in a bit. Kirk called Mediacom. An employee confirmed he was not on the list to be disconnected. The technician showed up right before the Springfield police. Officers told the contractor to confirm the disconnection. He made a phone call and left. No police report was filed. It was listed as handled by officers. But Kirk wasn't the only one. A week later, Jody Davis got the same text. Um, so I called them immediately, and they said, you know, we don't know what you're talking about because you're, you're not on any list or anything of that nature. Davis called Mediacom. And what do I do? And he's like, just block the number. But, you know, if he does show up, make sure you please call the police. Her text messages show the technician asked for payment and part of her social security number. My bill wasn't even past due, so I don't even know, like, you know, all because he got my number somewhere, I guess, and he knew I was a Mediacom customer. In their cases, Kirk and Davis still have their cable service, and they didn't lose any additional money, but it serves as a good reminder to be vigilant. If you have a private number who claims to be a contractor or, you know, somebody working for a company, verify it with the home office. Don't just let these people take advantage of you. In Springfield, I'm Adam Woodbray, KY3 News. Now, we reached out to Mediacom. They declined an interview request, but did confirm the employee works as a contractor. A spokesperson did say in an email, Mediacom does not do text communication with customers.